can see Canada dives the right way, but it's right in the corner. Okay, last last football game. Last one. No more football for the night, okay? Okay. <gasps> Maybe not. And they're getting slightly bad here, are they? Oh, look at that. You came for chaos, and that's exactly what you're going to get. These are our favourite soapbox crashes from the last 10 years of mayhem at the Red Bull Soapbox Race London. Which one's your favourite? Let us know in the comments. First up, a ridiculously top. Bro, she's in a certain boxes. mood tonight, dude. It's wild. So uh, they've all known each other for a long, long time. It's two meters, I think they, they said it was. This from ground to the top of the wing. Performance of 32. Her Feel mind is a crazy place. Might well be scoring <laughs> off a fair deal of speed. And you've got to get some speed if you want to win it today. Let's see whether this one can fly through the water feature. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Spectacular! It's a nosedive. Mighty magnificent men face first at Ali Pali. Wait, what's what's straight. the dude's name that landed in the water? Like the the, the 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 New York movie and then he like landed in the water. Hudson or something like that. Sam, I need your inter machinations of your mind to work. I feel like Sam would know this. What's the movie where it's like the dude has to like land this commercial plane in like the water? It's like in like New York, he had to land it in like the, the Hudson River or some shit. I don't know. This joke's going on too long. For endurance, they certainly started off well. Now, can they mind the gap? Yes, they can. Over safely there. Decent run on the cards here. Two competitors in this particular car. The wedge, no problem. Oh, ah. straight into the hay bales and out. Lost control. Came over the wedge. Lost control. Almost into the crowd. Now they're going to pick themselves up and try and get started again because they were certainly very, very fast. Let's spell it. There's not much left of the con. The peas are back in it. Here we go. No harm done. Can they get the break off? Yes, they can. Can they get the momentum, the momentum again? Yes, they can. The safety shoot is out. Didn't seem to help them much, though, did it? Now they've got to get past the Bobby. Nice rhythm back to the run again. Look at the damage on the front. Over the apples and pears. All, almost went wide again. The shoot almost catches the crowd. Down they go towards the kicker. Is there going to be enough left of this car to survive the kicker? Because look at the damage. Here we go. Over the kicker. Oh! Explodes as it lands, but they get over the finish line, and that was a brave, brave run by two peas in a cod. Because the two peas were out of the cod halfway down, but they got back in and they finished the run. And the crowd it's gonna rain. Shut, <laughs> Shut up, bro. Next crash oh my the soapbox race God. London, it's an Austin Powers soapbox that refuses to behave. 420 meters ahead of the, the last 27 minutes. Performance. And off go quintessentially British with Glenn the pilot and Lee the co-pilot. This is the first test for them. It's the Lido. And they oh, it. damn. They lose it emphatically. It's wet in there and it's slippy in there. And you've got to have oh, a strong it, and a strong soapbox. And this one wasn't up to the task. Next, a soapbox driver finds out just how dangerous sharks can be. They did post what are the these commentators doing? 2015 here at Ali Pali. It's impressive to look at. And the shark should be okay through the water, shouldn't it? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, he's gone, look. The back wheel's completely gone. Well, okay, she didn't hear it. We're good. We're saved. In the water like that, but you do today. Get rid of the beach ball. They've made a real mess of that. The wheels, there's no chance unless they carry it. Here, what? Don't worry about it. There's no chance. Look at the state of the wheels. Moving on and team. Run it back. Now I'm good. Are about to show us how you finish in style. Off they go. Now it's very, very streamlined. Obviously, a coffin isn't particularly wide, so it should be fast enough. It's one of those spindly wheels can carry them down. They've got over the first. Run it back oh, right man. now. Oh, oh she's screaming. Almost lost it going over the wedge, but he manages to recover. And there's this button it's called clipping. Along the way, Miss. Still upright, what are you, a non-Twitch user? Now he's got the apples and pears. Another slight wobble on entry, but he's through there okay as well. Camber. He's really enjoying this too. The crowd like him, that's for sure. Now guessing that's like the again. angle. There's still the kicker to come. 
Here he goes then towards the kicker, straightens it up, over the kicker, oh, it's a fantastic run. Slightly heavy on landing, really good run. Oh, he tries to stop it, and he rolls it past the finish line, but he punches the air. He's in one piece, thank goodness. Not sure about the coffin dodger, he nearly needed it there. <laughs> There's no later, way, dude. Back, this time in an Egyptian sarcophagus. Could they make it to the finish? Place your bets now. So take the scar on the way. Oh my God, the camba. And it's a slightly different design with those wheels bigger and slightly angled out as well. And it's certainly leading to some speed at the top of the course. Over Steelworks, landing okay, but just starting to wobble. They've got to try and keep it straight if they possibly can. The island is navigated and they're getting slightly bad here. Look at that! One of the most spectacular offs that we've seen. Rookie duckies then from Lancaster. The theme is quack in a box. There's not a great deal of room in there for these two. Mel at the front, Gary behind. Look at the crowds here today. Here's the water. This has been a problem for a lot of soapboxes today, but they're okay, I think. Oh! oh they got into the bales, they couldn't move it, they were a bit wide. A bit wide, they couldn't miss it. Needed to steer it back out. And if you look here, they're just forced wide there. But it's not a great deal of effort to try and move it. Bang, straight into the pail. Look at Phil, the cameraman there. They always seem to find him. Year on year, Phil has to duck for his life. Rookie Ducky's back on the move. Over the kicker. Very slow. Gareth now. Bale? Yes. I'm not sure whether Mel can see a great deal in the front either. That keeps dropping down over the eyes. This. On we go towards the bone rattler. Over the bone rattler. Oh, bang! Straight in. <laughs> help. Turn right. Got to keep going. Good straight. one. Help. It says Good touch. Bottom. That's what they need at the minute. A bit of help. Woo. Watch this. I need help right now, dude. Okay there. Okay there. And then immediately right. Couldn't get it back. Bang. Whoa, that That's some F1 one. Gs right there, dude. You know what I just thought of? I don't know if I want to know, but I, go. but tell me. Enjoying the day. Can they get through the chicane? Only 12 miles an hour. What do we think the, the woman the thought kicker. of? Do they fancy the big kicker? This good nose dive at this speed. Oh, it does. You can see it. Not fast enough. You can't go 12 miles an hour over there. Not one to guess. Bill first into the tower. I don't know. An absolute crash fest, courtesy of Team Rookie Duckies. But we'll okay, see take it back. your favorite so We're done. Far. We're done. In the comments. Wow, look at those ducks, Next, dude. A badly designed soapbox seems destined to crash. It's not a question of if, only when. Well, the push off's not the best. They nearly hit the tires at the start. Look at him, he's all over the place. Oh, it's... Come on, Taron, keep it together. Keep it together. Oh, he wasn't helped at the top. They pushed him off on a slant. Right, he's back going now. This must be Boba. There's the onboard shot. Snaking here, snaking there, heading towards the water. All over the place, heading into the water. Surely he can't get through there. He can. can Why was that the smoothest on, part of this? Bubbles flying out right, left, and center. Bro, what the he's hell am I watching? Two wheels and one wheel, more than he's been on four. Here we go over the kicker. That's not great for him either. He would give anything to be going. Oh, look at him. There he goes. <laughs> to go in the end mary go and help him please go and help him oh my word what a dude, ride dude's what a gonna problem. go to dude rocket to mars a group of fellas who all play cricket together ivor is the pilot lee the co-pilot is firing water into the crowd and this is set off at a fair old speed this rocket to mars crowd getting a dousing here's the water Okay, through there. Front wheels just look like they might be bending a little bit. Got to keep your eye on the front left. Looks like it's going to go. I don't think it's going to get to the bottom. This one, you know. The front left wheel's gone. It's going down on three wheels at the minute. He's still keeping it going, Ivan. There's one day. I don't have... Oh! oh look at that! Catapults it through. Almost a 360 in the air. The back went past the front. I don't have the creativity for this. Now horizontal of front wheels. That's it for Rocket to Mars. Now for one of the greatest crashes of all time, courtesy of the GOAT himself, Usain Bolt. 
Usain on the back, pointing the way forward, and down they go. This is quite a big, cumbersome cart, is this one, but it's safely over Mind the Gap. And it's all so far so good. Usain Bolt pointing the way. Concentration on the face of the driver. Into the chicane. I just wonder whether the weight on the left side of this, the left side of the cart might pose an issue because it's certainly going to be heavier that side, isn't it? Oh, there's the proof! They've veered left, almost got into the crowd. Usain Bolt's okay. In fact, he's pointing at the pair of them saying, it's your fault. They're trying to scramble back in. But there we see, you can't turn it round. <laughs> well, it's not very often that Usain Bolt comes to Cropper, but he has here today, hasn't it? It's Alexandra Palace. They get back in again. It's a sturdy Usain Whether Bolt, dude. able to finish, I don't know. It looks as though there's some serious damage. So the moment of truth arrives for Team Sky Racers. Down the ramp they go. Big push, and away they go. The smoke billows out of the funnel. And they're safely over it in one piece. After minding the gap, now it comes down to the wedge, and it's a neat run so far. It's uh, pretty smooth and it's pretty fast. And the cart's still in one. Next stream after this, <laughs> God knows, course, dude. Though, which is the apples and pears followed by the kicker. It's the same old story. Here we go then with the apples and pears. Absolutely bolts over that. What the, the bounciness? Now it's whether they can get through the chicane and down in one piece. Holy uterus! The and have the momentum to get towards the finish line. The rocket powering down the slopes at Alexandra Palace over the kick. Here we go! He nose dives and he flips it over and he's on his side. Good one. And it seemed that that was going to be <laughs> yeah. one of the better runs of the day. So much speed, so smooth, and the shape of it actually cost him because he went nose first into the track. They will push him over the finish line, but it's probably cost him big time. And I just wonder whether the funnel is what actually came to haunt them on that run because it was going so well until they completely nosedive. Next, pilot Eugene from Team Whiskey Business gets instant <laughs> karma after committing Super a Woo. cardinal sin of soapbox racing. The levers are notoriously difficult. I'm concerned here for Eugene. I'm concerned for the design. Oh, he's missed the... He's missed the water! You can't miss the water, Eugene. You need water with whiskey for crying out loud. Oh, there you go. That's what happens when you pull out the water. Watch this. The first kicker, you've got to steer with your right hand and steer with your left hand, and then you can't. Hold on. I need a moment. I need a moment. Okay, I had my moment. And to lose your equilibrium in a situation like that. Dollars everywhere, soapbox everywhere, Eugene everywhere, but he's back in again. The way it's designed is bonkers. You can't steer a soapbox like this at the speed they're going. It's impossible. Over the bone rattler. Oh, he's gone again. Look, you see, you just. Where's Eugene? Anybody seen Eugene? <laughs> oh, there he is. There's Eugene. Watch this look. Bone rattler, and he just can't keep it. He can't keep it in a straight line. It's impossible to keep in a straight line. <laughs> whiskey business, this one should be called risky business. Down he comes, 13 miles an hour. This is not quick enough. This is not quick enough. Oh, he's gone over just about. Can you hold it? No, he's gone again. Three. He was all over the place. His goggles are down over his mouth. He's all over the shop. Wow. Otto, the driver, he's got the responsibility of getting them right the way down to the bottom as fast as he can. And he's got the wobble on at the top, which is never a good sign. He's got a real wobble on. I thought he was going to go there. They were just starting to pull back there towards the barriers. He's struggling with this. Otto, oh, he's dear God. through and he's losing it and he's holding it. It's a brilliant example of driving to keep it in a straight line. They can't believe it. Look at them. Oh, he's all over the place. Look at him now. Can he fight it down to the bottom? He's got so far still to go. Past the sparks, through the chicane, heading down towards the Very well. Somehow he's keeping it going. Bro's he's got the Walmart, like... The there he goes over the... Oh, he's got no chance. <laughs> the Absolutely whole car just no disintegrated. Chance. the star ramp and i've got to say you got a walmart f1 wheel did so well to get that far <laughs> good sound he had no control look what's left of it it's a steady sunday drive 
to the bottom. That's what they look like before you put the rest of it on. Oh, he nearly, oh, he's gone again. <laughs> he's gone again. Oh, my word. Well, they came today to entertain us, the Grim Sweeper, and that's exactly what they did. Wonderful. 120, doesn't matter. He's had the time of his life. Next, it's a driver who spent his 50th birthday racing a soapbox. And if a huge crash was on his gift list, his wishes were about to come true. Into Lido. Big splash. Got a face full there, Alan, didn't he? It's too wide. This team from Glasgow. The cake starts to fall apart over Lolly Drop. And it's making steering difficult. Look, he can't hold it. He's gone. They've gone. Dude looks like a coaster. Looks like a soapbox as well. There's a rock and roll theme. They're hoping to rock, but they don't want to roll, and they nearly <laughs> did roll. They nearly rolled right into the straw bales. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's gone. Dude, oh, absolutely right squished him. The bit there on the bonnet. <laughs> so much optimism on their faces. Smiles. They're having a nice natter on the way down now. They're saying, we can't win, but let's try and get to the bottom. They're also saying, shall we avoid the obstacles now? Because we've not got a great deal around them. Keep this energy later, dude. I still <laughs> fall into pieces. Oh, the Keep this energy later. And then down towards the finish eventually which they will be so happy to see i told you this was going to be spectacular today always is at ali pali it's why we get crowds like this it's why they're still going 28 look 28 miles an hour that is by the way on the speed check oh down he goes out he goes oh dear me so let's see what this castle themed soapbox can do 33 for the what performance do you want? and steve on his way down at the controls, down towards the Lido. No driving, okay. They're gonna be quite quick into the Lido as well with those handlebar steering mechanism. Handlebars at the front, keeps it straight. There's the lolly drop, they're okay. Oh, they're not okay, I thought they were, he's still got it. He's still got it there. That's helped them out no end, the fact the sides come off. Gotta keep it straight now. I'll Moving make you a list, are you gonna check it twice? Down to the Grand Slammer. Over there, oh, he's lost, he's lost it. He let go oh, of the steering damn. wheel, he's lost it altogether. He take his hands off the handlebars, and at that point, you are absolutely finito. Now for one of the wildest runs in soapbox racing history. Going where no camper Why? has gone before, it's team Wild. the split camper van. And over the wedge, lands heavily, bit of a wobble. Next up, we've got the apples and pears, and it's side to side through there. Over the apples and pears, bounce, 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 the wheels come off, skidding down the track. Now it's got to get through the chicane. It's actually got to reach the chicane. Through the chicane we go, fantastic Damn. driving here to actually keep it upright. Down we go towards the kicker, over the kicker. Oh, it's oh damn. The kicker. Got so far down with just three wheels and then lands on the roof. I'm delighted to say that he's in one piece. Up next, Team Vadaboom Beast are about to live up to their name in spectacular fashion. Well, let's see how they do. It's long and it's fairly sturdy with the small wheels. And it's gone wrong with the Lido and it's into the straw bales and they lost it. They lost it big time at that point. Look Look at at it. It. They were kind of lit though. There. And there's no time whatsoever to straighten up again and get through. Let's see how he manages this over the Grand Slammer. Oh, he's doing well. I'd move out of the way. The fellow with the head is going to get knocked over. Oh, he's knocked oh. him over. <laughs> <laughs> Completely taken out by his own teammate. <laughs> Sounds like an F1 race. You know the drill. It took six weeks to build this. And uh, Camille is off and running. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. The toothpaste themed soapbox is no more. They're crestfallen. The team are crestfallen, but he's got it back up. What this will do is ruin the time. And that front wheel's a bit bent as well. Front right as you look at it. It's angled in. He's going to struggle now. He needs to try and get some speed on. He's going to miss that particular obstacle he's going to try and go over the next one the bone rattler is very much on his agenda fighting and wrestling with it all the way down yeah he's okay over the kicker 
very, very difficult to steer now because that wheel's getting worse by the rotation. Still got a fair old clip, though, on board. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Of course he's going to do it. Well done, Camille. Over the bone rattler. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go. That might have taken a bit of skin off the elbow, you know. He's okay. Sir Soapy McSoapbox. You're not wrong. On its way down. Get the idea. This one might be a little bit flimsy with those small wheels. And not much in the way of protection around the pilot or the co-pilot. Don't think it's going to be very solid. And I don't think it's going to be very easy to steer. And you can all see it's not very fast. Have they actually got any momentum to get over the Lido? No, is the answer to that. <laughs> oh, he's pushed in the wrong way. <laughs> well, it was all going well till George got involved. <laughs> and he's managed to tip right out and completely obliterate the soapbox. Next on the best crashes in the history of the Red Bull Soapbox Race London, it's Team Gas, Gas, Gas. Or, as they should have been called, Crash, Crash, Crash. They've lost most of Good it one. already. And they are in trouble already, moving out towards the Lido. This doesn't look like it's going to last very long, does it? Over the Lido, they lose a bit more. They've got to get that piece gas, of... Gas, gas, gas. It's going to act as a break. The Grand Slammer is next on the cards. This is the Bone Shaker. And it's going to be a severe test for this soapbox. 20 miles an hour through there, not quick enough. Over the bone shaker, oh, it's gone. And they've both gone as well. And it was always likely. He's got, oh, he's got the wheel in his hand. hand. <laughs> I don't quite know what you do from there. The flat steering wheel, goddamn. LN1 unit. Down it goes. With the piston to start with and a bit of air over the That's falling, part two. And a little spell on the back wheel as well, which was spectacular. Lots and lots of speed to this one, I've got to say. Seems difficult to oh, control. Oh, damn. Right at that point. Completely lost in. There's not much left of that at all. It absolutely rocketed down the circuit. And then they just completely lost control and into the straw bales. Spectacular at the outset, but they just couldn't keep the momentum going and keep it straight they are going to try and get down to the finish as all the teams like to do today and it's nice to see the driver smiling because that was a really high impact crash and it's still wobbling around all over the place oh okay okay